Roman Catholicism teaches that you get to Jesus through Mary, right? Have you ever heard that? That's what they're taught. So that means Mary is primary. Jesus is secondary. You know, Mary is immediate. Jesus is eventual. You don't focus on Jesus because she's the one who gets you to him. You focus on Mary. You pray to Mary, you be devoted to Mary. See? She'll get you to Jesus. See? Because all these things, all of them said, we pray to her, she blesses us, she performs miracles. All these things should have been stated about Jesus by then. But no, that their focus is completely elsewhere. Completely. And let's listen to uh, a little audio clip here. We cannot cooperate without God's grace. Nevertheless, we must cooperate in order for both us to be saved and also for others. Now, Mary is so crucial because here we see Mary, a little 14-year-old girl who God comes to and, and we believe, in essence, asks her permission to save the world. Says, Mary... I want okay. your hand, the Holy Spirit, as a gentleman. We believe he's a gentleman. We do Did not you catch that? God asks Mary's permission to save the world. Again, I wish, I really, really wish I could tell you this is some kook, some extremist, some nut. I wish I could tell you that. But this is Tim Staples, one of the top Roman Catholic apologists out there today. God has to ask Mary's permission to save the world. I don't know in his thinking how that plays out. It was God biting his fingernails until uh, Mary was born, and then, oh boy, what's she going to say? I don't know. But that's, it's so out there. It's so beyond anything that you could even imagine being anywhere close to orthodoxy that the omnipotent creator has to ask his creature, may I have your permission to bring salvation to the world? It's, well, 